hi, welcome to Juice Bar, today we're gonna mix a Constantine. <laughs> So a Constantine is a classic cocktail from 1933. It got to my attention when Simon Difford posted it somewhere in the Difford guy this summer while I was in Italy. And uh, I was like, I really need to mix that because Constantine is a movie with Keanu Reeves, which I never saw. So I was like, that's a great excuse to watch the movie. And that's also why I'm wearing the tie, just like the character in the movie. And that's really convenient because I don't want to tie the last button of my shirt because it's incredibly hot in Tokyo today, even with air conditioner and everything. But let's get back to the cocktail. The Constantine was created in 1933. The version that Simon D. Ford proposed is probably derived from the version fixed by Jason E. Clapham. I'm gonna change it already slightly, but I'm gonna basically mix the version that Simon D. for has on his website and let's get down to mixing. So this cocktail is a Martinez variation. Let's start with two dishes of orange beaters and then 1.25 milliliters of absinthe. Actually, two dishes and 1.25 milliliters, they should be about the same amount. So I'm gonna put about the same amount of this uh, extreme absan. Basically, it's an absan with no sugar in it. So I'm gonna try to match the amount of orange beaters. And uh, because I used the uh, orange beaters from Scrappies and this absan which has no sugar, I'm gonna tweak the amount of maraschino from the 7.5 milliliters proposed in the recipe to 10. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more because I feel that otherwise I will be a bit short on sugar. Also, I love maraschino, so that doesn't hurt either. And then let's open an antica formula. Let's use this new bottle of uh, Carpano and we get 22.5 milliliters or three quarter of an ounce. And then uh, we finish with a gin. And I'm gonna use this TL Pierce Tokyo Dry Gin, which as I said, uh, is really nice. And I'm using this because at this point in my bar, I have too many freaking jeans and uh, it starts to get confusing. So I'm gonna fall back to this one that I know for sure is gonna be good. By the way, 60 milliliters with 43% ABV. Let's get some ice and let's give this bad boy a stir. So I did watch Constantine, this 2005 vehicle for Keanu Reeves. It has a pretty stiff <laughs> Keanu. I mean, Keanu really got better after John Wick. And lately I feel like he has a good sense of humor. I really think Keanu, in the end, is a really dorky guy which found himself being extremely hot and he became a big star. But he's really a bass player that likes motorcycle and uh, probably he's pretty shy, I don't know. Anyway, for more on the Constantine movie, I invite you to come back to this video after the credits because this one is ready. Let's strain this in a chilled coop. Let's decorate with a maraschino cherry. And there you go, a Constantine, a Martinez variation featuring a tiny bit of absinthe. Cheers. The smell is really nice. A combination of absan and maraschino. Nice. Oh, 
I like this. You yeah, have extra tiny bit of maraschino I put was pretty needed as I used the dry beaders or bitter beaders instead of angostura orange beaders which are not bitter and uh, this absan which has no added sugar. The cocktail is good, it's well balanced. I like the interaction between the absan and the maraschino. As usual this uh, gin seems like it's disappearing in the background, it just does a great job in being a, a classic dry gin without too much bite but being decent, really good, so I like it. And yes, uh, balance spiciness to it. So if you enjoyed the video please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like, steal yourself a, a Martinez variation and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. Why am I holding a bottle of art bag? Because that's the whiskey of choice of Constantine. Great attention to details in the movie. They wanted to paint a really hardcore character that's killing himself by smoking too much. And the whiskey of choice of Constantine is art bag. I think it's the first time I ever see an art bag featured in a movie. And it's a great choice because it's a pretty hardcore whiskey. And uh, Constantine deserved it. Now, the movie has... It's not great, but it was definitely better than I thought it would be. Narration proceeded pretty fast in the beginning. Uh, really, because, you know, nowadays we are used to these uh, superhero movies and they plan them over several movies or if they make a TV series, they have a long, longer time. Here, the beginning, they just don't waste time introducing constantly. You're gonna find out who he is along the way. All his problems and stuff. So it's pretty speedy. As I said, Keanu is not really good. He was not a good actor. I mean, he was perfect for the Matrix because he had to be that kind of mysterious. But in speed, he was good action hero. But as an actor, was not great. In a point break, He's really bad as an actor, in my opinion. But as I say, lately, I, I love Keanu. Everybody loves Keanu. And there is this movie with the funny lady comedian Asian, which I don't remember. I'm going to put it down below. I think in the interview, she said how Keanu was important for the Asian community in being the first Asian star in Hollywood. But in the Constantine movie, there's also Rachel Wise. She's also not that good. The two of them, they don't have that great chemistry or pretty much none. But I must say, it's really rare and it's the case in this movie that the movie ends better than it started. It started as a good idea and uh, with a kind of sloppy execution. Still, the last scene of the movie it's really good and now I'm gonna go into spoilers. So if you don't want spoiler for an 18 year old movie, don't listen from now on. Three, two, one. But the last scene where Lucifer came out and he's this actor which I don't know the name because he's one of those actors you've seen 1000 times and you don't know the name but you know the face. He comes out as Lucifer, he's really good. And there's also Tilda Swinton playing Gabriel. They really elevate the movie, which has a really good ending, which I was not expecting. I didn't see it coming. Also, as I said, Rachel Wise and uh, Keanu had pretty zero chemistry, but I think they played right in the story as they never get to actually kiss. There has been some really embarrassing kisses for the low amount of chemistry between the protagonists. Take for example, Batman Begins, I think. At the end of the movie, they kiss and I'm like, what? Why? And then of course, Tom Cruise and uh, the lady in the first Top Gun why are they in sex? This is uncalled for. Anyway, 
Constantine and the lady, they don't kiss, and that's really good. It's actually make for a couple of funny moments. I really enjoyed Constantine movie more than I was expecting. Yeah, I had really low expectation, but it was not bad. Yeah, and as I said, he ends better than he begins, which is really rare. Most of the times, he, a movie starts with a great idea, and then it falls off a cliff when they have to pull together the story at the end. And you're like, what, really? This coincidence and that coincidence? No, wh what are you doing? Why? Instead, in this case, the movie works out really good at the end. Nice.